So this past week I had two boxes that showed up and two sets of headphones. So I plug them in. I start listening to my favorite music and I was like, wow, it sounds like you're there. Like, what did you do to these headphones? And then we had to talk with them. So anyway, that pair that Tony's sporting right now, he's going home with those. He's like, these are my new favorite headphones. He already had hi-fi man, but he didn't have a modded with this fractal mesh stuff that Johnny's got going on. So I'll just say it like this. I wear Sennheiser in-ear monitors here on the show. And I put this stuff on that John sent, those two sets that he sent this past week. And I was like, it's night and day difference. It's a game changer. I've never heard headphones like that before. And so I'm keeping the ones that I think sound the best. And Tony's keeping the ones he thinks sound the best. So it's the way in which you're hearing the positioning of the frequencies of the various sounds you get out of like an orchestra or a band so forth and so on. And so I just prefer the the breathability of an open back. Um, whereas uh, the R9s, that's what you have. The HER 9s have that they try to mimic that, but have a closed sort of in, in, they They try to mimic an open back with a closed back. It sounds um, like you're in the very, room with them, right, which is what I like. Cause it's not blasting in your ear. Do. It's, it's in the ear cup and your ear is listening into that little ear cup room. Yeah, I just, but these are amazing. I mean, they're, you can't go wrong with either. It's purely up to your subjective interpretation of sound at this point. And what you like out of, when it comes to headphones, to high fidelity headphones, you're looking for a certain soundscape. If you like a little bit more definition, if you will, to, the different frequencies you're going to hear these are probably a little better if you like to sort of reverberate more get more of that sort of um expansive feeling to the sound as though it's resonating and having no ending to it as well as having very particular frequencies and being able to pick out extreme detail then you want to go with yeah i with noticed these. i was hearing instruments and songs i was familiar with uh, instruments i hadn't heard in those songs before Mm -hmm. That was kind of the, the, the gist. And anything you got to wear for six or seven hours on a show like this, it's got to be uh, tried and true. Super, and proved, super road comfortable. Tested. So we're road super test these a little bit more. And uh, oh, these yeah. are some of the most comfortable headphones. But usually I have the only mods I ever do is the headband and, and the ear earpieces. And these are as actually probably the most comfortable I've ever put on. More comfortable than the electrostatics or my other hi-fi mans or the Grados I have and Sennheiser and so forth and so on. So yeah, well, but, well played, Johnny. He's got like some patent pending I've, trademark. I've, I've fabric, been in the audio file. Fractal equipment. mesh. He's got it's it's all nerdy. It's it's above my pay grade, but my ears know how good it sounds. So yeah, yeah well, these are well fantastic. Played. These are better than the ones I have currently, and I have a, a fantastic amp, a couple amps actually for um, high fidelity. Equipment, audio equipment. I've been into the audiophile game for a while. I'm not like huge anymore like I used to be. I spent too much money no, in that you're market. Super but, nerd. but yeah, I'm a super nerd. I'm very familiar um, with it. And the only the next grade up from here would be electrostatics. So this is like, and that's you that's spending tens of thousands of dollars. But that's like the end game and audiophile headphone equipment. But to wrap up the point is that um these are like one small step down from that, in my opinion. Um having gotten the opportunity to listen to my friend's electrostatics. This summer for the first time after he built his own uh, setup for it. Um, absolutely incredible. Uh, there's nothing like an experience like that, but this is one small step below that. And so that's end game for the ultra, ultra, ultra audiophile nerds that have buku money like my buddy does. Um, so to experience this at the price point he has it at is quite literally insane. I mean, I have hi-fi mans at home. People see it says wooden ones. Um these are just dramatically better. So whatever he did, I would like to pick his brain because I am astonished.